It's Record Store Day. Hi everybody and welcome to this video. It is the 13th of April 2019 aka Record Store Day <coughs> and I've just realised the effect this has had on my voice but I was up at quarter to five this morning to head to Fairham to go to Heaven Chemistry Records and I got there about 20 past five and I was third in the queue which was good. Uh, lovely people I was in the queue with, we were chatting, neither of them wanted the stuff that I wanted, so I got everything that I needed. Um, as one of the first 20 I got a free Fred Perry designed Record Store Day tote bag, which is nice, and there's some various leaflets in there but nothing exciting. I picked up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11 releases. I shall go through them now of petal order. I've glanced at these, I haven't opened them, I will do this here and now. So first up is Chas and Dave's release. It's a picture disc of Margate. And uh, it's got the original single version plus the previously unreleased only Fools and Horses Jolly Boys outing version and I can't get into this package so um, for the Jolly Boys outing Only Fools and Horses episode they recorded a special version with different lyrics and this is the first time this has ever been released oh, get in there. That's better. and they're both on the A side, the B side has got Give It Gavotte and That's What I Like which are uh, from Job Lot, the album that Margate was on uh, this was, I really wanted this, which is why I've got it obviously, that's quite nice little, not seen one of those before, um, but it was expensive, this was twenty one ninety nine for a 7 inch single, I almost didn't get it but they only got it in for me so I felt bad if I turned around and not got it, so I did, but that's nice, it's good quality thick picture disc so hopefully that means there's plenty of playing surface okay and next up we have Elastica BBC sessions uh, featuring white vinyl limited edition poster so this has got four wheeling hold me now Annie spastica rock and roll Brighton rock bar 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 in the city all for Gloria your ass my place human love like ours and mad dog this is on rough trade records this was 26.99 uh first person in human chemistry got 10 percent discount second and third got five percent discount however I don't think it worked properly I think I only got my discount on the last item I bought but I'm not concerned that's not why I went there uh, this is the poster it's all right in the sleeves some nice band pictures on there so these date from between 1993 and 1999 most of them 94 uh, John Peel, Mark Radcliffe, Evening Session shows they came from so yeah this is some white vinyl So yeah, big fan of Elastica. The second album didn't do much for me, but their first album was just brilliant. Uh, then this is Janis Joplin live at Woodstock. Uh, 50th anniversary of the complete Janis Joplin Woodstock performance available officially for the first time on vinyl. 
Includes iconic renditions of Try Just a Little Bit Harder to Love Somebody and Peace of My Heart. Peace of My Heart. This is a We Are Vinyl release. Uh, double vinyl. Just trying to see if it's a good. No, it's not a gatefold, so I'll leave the shrink on. So, normal we are vinyl download code card and some liner notes and track listing and credits so it's got raise your hand as good as you've been to this world to love somebody that's the BG song uh, side B is summertime try just a little bit harder in cosmic blues side C is can't turn you loose and work me lord side D is peace of my heart and Paul and Ch ball and chain this is two vinyl edition on black. There was seven records that I really 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 wanted and if I hadn't been able to get them at Heathen Chemistry I'd have gone elsewhere to try and get them and then there's loads that were maybes and then when the price list came out a couple of days ago some of them went and then I narrowed that down I just gave myself a budget of £300 so I narrowed that down and went for four extra releases this was one of them Some of the other stuff I might pick up eventually. So yes, I can't remember if I showed you the back, but if I didn't, there it is. Okay, this was a must, must have. This is the League of Gentlemen Live Again or Live Again, whichever way you want to say it. So this, you may have seen my unboxing of the League of Gentlemen's Vinyl Cuts, a special stuff box set. Uh, there. You can't quite see it, can you? Because of a thing. That one. Um, and this is a continuation in that series. So this is a audio recording of their reunion tour that I went to last year, and it's been released on DVD, and it's all done in the same style as for records in that box set uh, I'm gonna have to open this because it's a pop-up gatefold so I'll just carefully try and save stickers uh, so this is three LPs uh, recorded live at Hammers Apollo exclusive to Record Store Day 2019 pop-up gatefold sleeve oh no it's two I lied it's two LPs, maybe I got it wrong on the front. Um, two times heavyweight Lazarou coloured vinyl, exclusive artwork by Graham Humphreys. So let's try and get this out cleanly. Yeah, got it. Like that very much. So this is the first half of the show which was done traditional League of Gentlemen style with them just in suits with minimal props doing sketches. Oh, that is cool. Second one, it's the second half of the show, which is which was done in full costume and full props and what have you, as a continuation from the anniversary specials. Yeah, 
Right, I'll cool. And then the next one was another must have. That's another comedy release. This is picture disc of Monty Python's Life of Brian. So this is the album that was released at the time with lots of linking material and all sorts of stuff in it. So it's for Weckord Store Day. The Life of Brian Sound Twack album was erected as a picture disc. Willie Swadger. So I think that's all very faithful to the original. But that front cover, I believe, is new artwork that Terry Gilliam's designed. And we have that comes with a download. Out sheet with artwork and a bit of script from the end of it and cast and what have you. And the picture disc comes nicely protected. And again, this is nice and thick. So hopefully the sound will be reasonable. That means they put plenty of lacquer on it to get a decent, deep enough cut. And I'll be here sort of in a minute. Okay, next up, there was two Prince releases, which obviously were must-haves for me. Um, first up is actually a cassette. They only had one copy of this, so the fact that I was there nice and early meant I got it, otherwise I probably wouldn't have. Uh, yeah, have to get into this, unfortunately. I'll save the sticker on the front. So this is the Versace experience. Story behind this, in 1995, at the Paris Fashion Week, I think it was, um, Prince did some shows with for Versace and he gave away this cassette to attendees and it's sort of a, a trailer for the Gold Experience album which came out in September 1995 plus other bits from other projects of his. A lot of the stuff on here has never been released in this form um, and the original copies of this go for thousands and thousands of pounds so the family of reissued this for record store day so it's the Versace experience prelude to gold Red this came with a download, but it doesn't appear to. So I will have to listen to this. The only cassette player I've got now is in my car, so that's when I will have to listen to it. So uh, the A side has got the club mix edit of Pussy Control, an excerpt of uh, Get Wild in My House, which is a remix of Get Wild, a remix of I Hate You, an excerpt from 319 and an excerpt from Shy, all from Gold Experience. B-side is a full-length version of Billy Jack Bitch, which is on Gold Experience. Uh, Sunny T excerpt, which is from a Madhouse 24 album, which never came out. Ruti Kazuti edit, which again is from that album. And Chatunet Control, which um, is a remix of Pussy Control. Uh, then there's Pussy Control, Control Tempo edit, which again is an edit of a track. It's on the Hate Experience maxi single, which I got a feeling didn't never actually came out anyway uh, the full length version of Kama Sutra Overture number 5 which is from Kama Sutra which is the ballet he wrote for Maito when they got married uh, that's been released on Kama Sutra as part of a crystal ball set uh, Free the Music which is a little adverty type thing se uh, Segway not sure 
what that is and then an excerpt from gold from the gold experience yeah bit annoyed that doesn't come over download but never mind and then the other print release was released by warner brothers and this is his Majesty's Pop Life the Purple Mix Club. So this is a reissue of a Japanese promo release. I think there was 500, I think it was, originally released in 1985. And this has got a single and a 12 inch in it. And the single contains the fresh dance mix of Pop Life and the album version of America. And then Raspberry Beret, the new mix, and Paisley Park remix. And then the, the album, if you want to call it that, uh, contains Let's Go Crazy special dance mix, a little record vet dance mix, the album version of 1999, uh, the extended version of I Would Die For You, a long version of Erotic City, Make Love Not War, Erotic City Come Alive, and the album version of When Doves Cry. So, nice little thing is the sticker on here it is a Wrecker Stow Day exclusive so in Under the Cherry Moon Prince's film there's a scene where Christopher Prince and Tricky Jerome Benton are in the club with Mary Sharrell uh, Chris and Scott Thomas and he writes Wrecker Stow on a napkin and he asks Mary Sharon, who's very posh what that is he says, I don't know, you know, she's reading it out, reading it out, she gets all frustrated, I don't know. And he said, if you were going to buy a Sam Cooke album, where would you go? Oh, I'd go to the record store. Much hilarity. And that's where that comes from, so that's a nice little addition. So this is a gatefold. That's the back. So the artwork is from Around the World in a Day. Sort of blown up. Nice live shot on the inside. From the Purple Rain Tour. And in fact, it's got all the dates from the Purple Rain Tour at the bottom there. And then we have Oh, okay. I was led to believe this was going to be a 7 inch, but it's not. It's 45 RPM 12 inch. Okay. Nice that it comes in PVC sleeves. And then the second half, and I've got the original copy of the original insert, which is all in Japanese. And this is for 33 and a third disc very nice so these were all basically taken from 12 inch versions of the singles around that period so from 1999 purple rain and around the world in the day albums sticker does say they're both 12 inches okay then the next two are also on my probably but not definitely piles but managed to get them both no problem and um, that's the two rolling stones compilation reissues uh i haven't got any stones on vinyl i've not got much stones at all i've got uh the rolled gold is it rolled gold Hot Rocks. The Hot Rocks double CD compilation from their early period and then the Jump Back compilation from their later period. Um, much prefer although there are later tracks I like, much prefer their 60s stuff so I thought these would be nice to get. So first up is Big Hits Hide Hide and Green Grass Big Hits Volume 1 
uh, RSD exclusive limited edition, UK edition of the Rolling Stones 1966 legendary hits LP, including six number one singles featuring original artwork and six page photo booklet, pressed on 180 gram green vinyl. So this has got, have you seen your mother baby standing in the shadow, paint it black, it's all over now, the last time, heart of stone, not fade away, come on, I can't get no satisfaction, get off of my cloud, as tears go by, 19th nervous breakdown, Lady Jane, time is on my side, and Little Red Rooster. Uh, according to the back, it's the mono version, I'm not sure if that is correct, I presume so, otherwise they wouldn't have done it. Uh, it's a gatefold, so again, let's try and get in there. Sleeve. So then in the front of the gatefold we have a poster by the looks of it. Oh, it's a, is it a poster? Yeah, it's just Oh, it's one of those. Okay. Sort of postery tum booklety type thing. listing and credits and then, yeah it is mono nice polyline sleeve oh that's a nice colour so yeah that's Big Hits Volume 1 And then they followed that up three years later with Pickett's Volume 2, Through the Past Darkly. Uh, this is the U copy of the UK edition, and there are different editions in other countries. Includes four top ten and two number one singles, pressed on 180 gram orange vinyl. And as you can see, this is a octagonal, one to yeah, octagonal sleeve. So they've put it in a nice... Uh, out of sleeve. Now this is a stereo because it says so uh, there. So this has got Jumping Jack Flash, Mother's List Will Help Her, 2000 Light Years From Home, Let's Spend the Night Together, You Better Move On, We Love You, Street Fighting Man, She's a Rainbow, Ruby Tuesday, Dandelion, Sitting On My Fence and Honky Tonk Women. I see. <laughs> Obviously a replica of the original inner sleeve. Oh yeah, that's a nice colour as well. This was a must-have. This is Sleeper live at the Ritz. Regulars will know by now I'm a big fan of Sleeper. So this is a limited edition coloured vinyl release of four tracks that they played live on the 24th of November 2018 at the Manchester Ritz. So it's two of the tracks from their new album, their brilliant new album, The Modern Age, and two classic tracks. So side one has Look At You Now, which was the lead single from The Modern Age, and What Do I Do Now from The It Girl. And side two is The Sun Also Rises, which is the forthcoming second single from One Age. And Sale of a Century, which is also from It Girl. Let's go here. Let's 
again nice polyline sleeve nice blue I'm not sure what color blue you would call that as I've mentioned in another video it's blue nice labels as well happy with that And then my final pickup was one of my strong maybes that I would, wouldn't have gone elsewhere to get, but if I had it, I was going to get it, and sure enough, I did. And um, this is another Woodstock release. This is Slime and Family Stone at Woodstock. Uh, the complete Slime and Family Stone Woodstock performance available officially for the first time on vinyl. It was everyday people, dance with the music, I want to take you higher. And Side D's vinyl is etched with the Slime and Family Stone logo. So side A is Milady and sing a simple song and you can make it if you try. B is everyday people dancing with music and a medley of music lover and higher. C is I want to take you higher, love city and stand. And as I say, D is etched. Uh, this is like the Janice, it's two albums, but it's in a normal sleeve. And again, it's we are vinyl, so it has Download code. I'll probably use those for me so I can put them on my iPod. Uh, very similar to the Janice. Black vinyl. Similar Woodstock themed labels. And it comes again with the liner notes. And credits. And there we go. Fight C. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, oh, let's get that. You can just about see that, I think. That's the etching on side D. So that was it. That was my haul. As I say, there was loads of other bits that I was tempted by. Uh, I nearly got the Bowie, the World of David Bowie release and the Just a Gigolo release. Wasn't interested in the picture disc of Pin Ups because it's probably my least favourite Bowie album anyway, certainly down there. Um, and it's a picture disc. Uh, I might still pick up the other two at a later date. Uh, the Otis Redding release appealed. What else was there? Let's have a look. Let's go from your little list in case you are interested. Uh, there was Average White Band 12, I think it was a 12 inch or a 10 inch with two of their tracks on, which I, I, say I was tempted by, but because there was nothing sort of new and exclusive on there, I dismissed that. Similarly, the Supergrass picture disc with Pumping on the Stereo and Mary was it on the other side. Um, I dismissed for the same reason. Uh, Booker T Green Onions 10 inch, that was quite tempting. The Bridget Bardot album was very tempting, I might still pick that up. Uh, Dexies at the BBC, that was tempting. The Live Gaz Coombs album, that was tempting. The Get Carter soundtrack, again, tempting. The Peter Gabriel rated PG picture disc, I'd like the content, but the fact it was a picture disc put me off on that. Uh, hopefully it'll get a proper release later, I believe it will. Queen, the Bow Rap 7-inch was very tempting because it was very pretty. The Bohemian Rhapsody soundtrack, double picture disc, I was highly tempted by it until I saw the price. Because that was nearly 60 quid for two discs. No thank you. Uh, Stereophonics Live from Dakota album, was te tempted with that. The Police Message in a Bottle, two seven inches. Again, tempted by that until I saw the price. Um, Stax Does the Beatles was highly tempting. That's another one I probably will pick up at a later date. Uh, there's a couple more that I deleted because they weren't getting them in. Uh, the Louis Armstrong Disney style one that appealed, as did the Sherman Brothers compilation. Sherman Brothers wrote the music to Mary Poppins and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and um, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks and Jungle Book, I think. 
So all those classic songs that you know were written by those. Uh, what else was there? The Jack Brell Amsterdam EP. And there was a couple more. Anyway, hope you found that interesting. That was my first record store day I've attended. I've picked up the odd bits uh, after the date before, but never actually been on record store day. Really enjoyed it. Really good morning. And looking forward to doing plenty more. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you in another video. Bye. <music>